Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm God's Power, and today, we're diving into a crucial topic that many believers face but often don't fully understand, spiritual warfare. Have you ever experienced an overwhelming sense of darkness or found yourself battling unexplainable difficulties? These could be signs that you're under spiritual attack. In this video, we're going to explore the seven signs of spiritual warfare and learn how to recognize them in our lives. Understanding these signs is vital because it helps us discern when the enemy is at work and empowers us to stand firm in God's truth and protection. So, let's journey together into this important discussion. Let's seek God's wisdom and power as we uncover how to identify and overcome the challenges of spiritual warfare. Stay tuned to gain insights that will strengthen your faith and prepare you for the battles we face as believers. Before we dive into today's discussion, if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. This way, you'll stay inspired by our faith-based content and never miss an uplifting message. Now, let's get started on our journey of faith and inspiration. Whether you're seeking encouragement, spiritual insights, or simply a community of believers, you've come to the right place. Our channel is dedicated to sharing messages of faith, hope, and empowerment to help you navigate life's challenges with strength and grace. So, grab your Bible, a notebook, and an open heart as we embark on this journey together. Let's dive into today's topic and be inspired to live a life grounded in faith and purpose. Heavenly Father, gracious and loving God, we humbly come before your presence with hearts open and spirits eager to receive your divine guidance and protection. As we gather to explore the realities of spiritual warfare, we acknowledge our dependence on you for discernment, wisdom, and strength. Lord, your word in Ephesians 6 verse 12 reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces of darkness in the heavenly realms. Grant us clarity of mind and spirit to discern these spiritual battles that affect our lives, relationships, and walk with you. Father, we ask for your divine protection over each person here and those who will engage with this discussion. Cover us with your armor, described in Ephesians 6 verses 13 to 18, so that we may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Clothe us with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of readiness to share the gospel of peace, the shield of faith to extinguish the fiery darts of the evil one, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Lord, as we uncover the signs of spiritual attack, grant us discernment to recognize when we are under siege. Empower us with your spirit to resist the enemy's tactics and to walk in victory that is already ours through Christ Jesus. We commit this time and our hearts to you, trusting that your presence is with us, guiding us into all truth. May everything we discuss and learn today bring glory to your holy name. In the powerful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Segment 1 Introduction to Spiritual Warfare Spiritual warfare is a reality for every believer. As Ephesians 6 verse 12 teaches us, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This scripture reveals that our battles are not merely physical or earthly but spiritual in nature. Understanding this spiritual battle is crucial because it equips us to recognize and overcome the challenges we face. It's important to discern when we are under attack spiritually, as it affects our relationship with God, others, and ourselves. The Bible provides us with insights and strategies for spiritual warfare that empower us to stand firm in faith and resist the schemes of the enemy. Today, we will uncover the seven signs that indicate you might be under spiritual attack. By understanding these signs and applying God's Word, we can defend ourselves effectively and experience the victory that Christ has already won for us. Let's delve into these signs with the wisdom and discernment that God provides, trusting in His protection and guidance as we navigate the spiritual battles of life. Segment 2 Sign 1 Sudden and Unexplained Illness or Injury The first sign of spiritual warfare is sudden and unexplained illness or injury. While not every ailment is a result of spiritual attack, there are instances where such afflictions can be directly linked to it. The Bible provides us with examples, such as in the book of Job, where Satan inflicted Job with painful sores as a form of attack. 
Job 2 verse 7 says, So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. This story illustrates how physical suffering can sometimes be a tactic used by the enemy. If you or someone close to you is experiencing persistent, inexplicable health issues, it might be time to seek God's protection and healing. First and foremost, turn to prayer. Ask God to reveal if there is a spiritual component to the illness or injury and to provide His healing touch. James 5 verses 14 to 15 encourages us, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, the Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. It's also important to declare God's promises of health and protection over yourself and your loved ones. Scriptures like Isaiah 53 verse 5, which states, By His wounds we are healed, and Psalm 103 verse 3, which says, He forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, remind us of God's power to heal and restore. In addition to prayer, consider seeking support from your faith community. Share your situation with trusted friends, family, or church leaders who can join you in prayer and provide encouragement. Sometimes, God works through the prayers and support of others to bring about healing. Moreover, be vigilant about maintaining your physical health. Ensure that you are taking practical steps to care for your body, such as eating well, staying hydrated, getting enough rest, and following medical advice. God often works through both spiritual and natural means to bring about healing. In conclusion, if you or someone close to you is experiencing sudden and unexplained illness or injury, it could be a sign of spiritual warfare. Seek God's protection and healing through prayer, declare His promises over your life, and lean on your faith community for support. Trust that God is your healer and protector, and He is always with you, even in times of physical suffering. Segment 3 Sign 2 Persistent Feelings of Fear, Anxiety, or Depression Fear, anxiety, and depression can also be indicators of a spiritual battle. The enemy uses these emotions to paralyze and distract us from God's purpose for our lives. These feelings can overwhelm us, making it difficult to see God's truth and promises. However, it's crucial to remember that these emotions are not from God. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 reminds us, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This powerful verse assures us that fear and anxiety do not come from God. Instead, He provides us with a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. This means that, through God, we have the strength to overcome these negative emotions and find peace. If you're constantly battling feelings of fear, anxiety, or depression, it's important to turn to God's Word for strength and reassurance. The Bible is filled with promises of God's protection, love, and peace. Meditate on scriptures like Philippians 4 verses 6-7, which says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Additionally, seek God's presence through prayer. Pour out your heart to Him, expressing your fears and anxieties. Ask Him for the peace that surpasses all understanding and for the strength to combat these negative emotions. Remember, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble, Psalm 46 verse 1. It's also helpful to surround yourself with a supportive faith community. Share your struggles with trusted friends, family, or spiritual leaders who can pray with you and offer encouragement. Sometimes, simply knowing that others are praying for you can provide immense comfort and strength. Lastly, take practical steps to care for your mental and emotional well-being. This might include practicing gratitude, engaging in physical activity, maintaining a healthy diet, and seeking professional help if needed. God can work through various means to bring healing and peace to your mind and heart. In conclusion, if you find yourself persistently battling fear, anxiety, or depression, recognize it as a potential sign of a spiritual attack. Turn to God's Word, lean on His promises, seek His presence in prayer, and reach out to your faith community for support. Trust that God is with you, providing you with the power, love, and sound mind to overcome these challenges. 
Segment 4, Sign 3, Unusual Strife in Relationships Another sign of spiritual attack is unusual strife in relationships. The enemy loves to sow discord and division, especially among family members and close friends. When there is unity and love, God's presence and blessings flourish. But the enemy knows that if he can disrupt our relationships, he can diminish our peace and effectiveness. Ephesians 4 verses 26-27 offers us valuable advice, In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. This scripture reminds us that unresolved anger and conflicts can create openings for the enemy to work in our lives. Pay attention to recurring conflicts and unresolved issues that seem to arise out of nowhere or escalate without clear reasons. These might be signs of the enemy's attempts to create division. In such moments, it is vital to seek God's guidance to restore peace and harmony. Begin by praying for wisdom and discernment to understand the root cause of the strife. Sometimes, conflicts arise from misunderstandings, unmet expectations, or past hurts that need healing. Ask God to reveal any areas where forgiveness is needed and to help you approach the situation with a heart of humility and grace. Additionally, it's essential to communicate openly and lovingly with those involved. Ephesians 4 verse 29 advises, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Use your words to build bridges, not walls, and strive to understand the perspectives of others. Remember, the enemy thrives in an atmosphere of bitterness and resentment. By addressing conflicts promptly and seeking reconciliation, we close the door to his influence. God desires us to live in peace and unity, reflecting his love in our relationships. So, if you notice unusual strife in your relationships, don't ignore it. Seek God's help to mend the rifts and restore harmony. Trust that with his guidance, you can overcome the enemy's attempts to divide and instead, strengthen the bonds of love and unity among you and your loved ones. Segment 5, Sign 4, Financial Difficulties and Loss Financial difficulties and loss can be a tactic used by the enemy to create stress, fear, and doubt. It's crucial to discern that not every financial problem is a spiritual attack, but some might be. These challenges can cause us to question God's provision and create anxiety about our future. However, during these times, we must firmly anchor our faith in God's promises. Philippians 4 verse 19 offers us profound reassurance, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. This verse is a powerful reminder that God is our ultimate provider. He understands our needs and promises to supply them from His glorious riches. When faced with financial hardships, instead of succumbing to fear and despair, we should turn to God in prayer, asking for His guidance and wisdom in managing our resources. Seek His direction on how to navigate these tough times. Sometimes, financial struggles are an opportunity for us to grow in faith, trust, and stewardship. Moreover, it's important to stay vigilant against the enemy's attempts to use these difficulties to weaken our faith. Maintain a heart of gratitude, focusing on the blessings we have rather than what we lack. Trust that God is working behind the scenes, even when we cannot see it. He may be preparing us for a breakthrough or teaching us valuable lessons that will benefit us in the long run. So, let's hold on to the promise of Philippians 4 verse 19, believing that God will meet all our needs. Continue to trust in His provision and lean on Him for strength. Remember, God is with us in every trial, guiding us through and providing for us in ways we might not even imagine. Stay faithful, stay prayerful, and watch how God works through your situation to bring about His perfect plan. Segment 6, Sign 5, Apathy Towards Spiritual Matters Another sign of spiritual warfare is feeling apathetic or indifferent towards spiritual matters. The enemy wants to weaken your relationship with God by making you feel uninterested in prayer, worship, and reading the Bible. This apathy can creep in subtly, causing a gradual drift away from your faith. Revelation 3 verse 16 warns us about the danger of becoming spiritually lukewarm, so, because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. This verse underscores the importance of maintaining a fervent and passionate relationship with God. 
When you notice a decline in your spiritual enthusiasm, it's crucial to take intentional steps to reignite your passion for God. Here are a few ways to do that. 1. Spend intentional time in prayer. Set aside dedicated time each day to communicate with God. Pour out your heart to Him, share your struggles, and seek His guidance. Prayer is a powerful way to rekindle your connection with the Divine. 2. Immerse yourself in worship. Worship is a powerful tool to lift your spirit and refocus your heart on God. Whether through music, singing, or quiet reflection, let worship be a daily practice that brings you closer to His presence. 3. Engage with the Bible. God's Word is living and active, providing nourishment for your soul. Commit to reading and meditating on Scripture regularly. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you through the pages of the Bible and refresh your spirit. 4. Join a faith community. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage and support you in your spiritual journey. Engage in small groups, attend church services, and participate in Bible studies to stay connected and inspired. 5. Serve others. Sometimes, stepping out in service can reignite our passion for God. Look for opportunities to serve in your community or church, and let your actions be a reflection of God's love. Remember, spiritual apathy is a tactic of the enemy to distance you from God. By taking proactive steps to engage with your faith, you can overcome this indifference and restore your zeal for the Lord. Stay diligent and intentional in your pursuit of God. His presence is always near, ready to renew your spirit and reignite your passion for Him. Segment 7. Sign 6. Recurrent Nightmares or Disturbances During Sleep Another sign of spiritual warfare is experiencing recurrent nightmares or disturbances during sleep. These attacks are often designed to disrupt your rest and instill fear, leaving you feeling anxious and unsettled. In Psalm 91 verse 5, we are reassured, you will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. This powerful promise reminds us that God is our protector, even in the darkest hours of the night. When you encounter these nocturnal disturbances, it's essential to turn to God for refuge and peace. Before you go to sleep, take time to pray for God's protection over your mind and heart. Ask Him to surround you with His angels and to guard you against any spiritual attacks that may come during the night. Declare the promises of Psalm 91 over yourself, knowing that God is your shield and fortress. Additionally, creating a peaceful environment in your bedroom can help. Play worship music or scripture-based audio to fill the space with God's presence. Keep a Bible by your bedside and meditate on God's Word, letting His truth soothe your spirit. Remember, these disturbances are not just random occurrences, they are strategic attacks by the enemy. By staying vigilant in prayer and immersing yourself in God's peace, you can combat these spiritual attacks and reclaim your restful nights. Stay strong and trust in God's protection. He is with you, watching over you, and ensuring that you rest securely under His wings. Segment 8, Sign 7, Strong Urge to Quit or Give Up The last sign of spiritual warfare we will discuss today is a strong urge to quit or give up. The enemy often seeks to discourage us, making us feel overwhelmed and tempted to abandon our pursuit of God's plan. This feeling of wanting to give up is a clear indicator that we are facing spiritual opposition. In these moments, it is crucial to remember the encouragement found in Galatians 6 verse 9, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. This powerful verse reminds us that perseverance is key. Even when the road seems tough and the challenge is insurmountable, God's promise stands firm, a harvest is coming if we remain steadfast. When you feel the weight of discouragement pressing down, turn to God for strength. Lean on His promises and allow His Word to renew your spirit. Surround yourself with a community of believers who can offer support and encouragement. Prayer is also vital. Ask God for the endurance to keep moving forward and for the faith to trust in His perfect timing. Remember, the enemy's goal is to derail you from fulfilling God's purpose for your life. By standing firm in faith and relying on God's strength, you can overcome the urge to quit. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and know that His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Stay steadfast, my friends, and continue to press on. God is with you every step of the way, and His plans for you are good.
Do not give up, for your breakthrough is on the horizon. Segment 9, Final Reflection Recognizing these signs is the first step to combating spiritual warfare. Equip yourself with the full armor of God, as described in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18. Stand firm in your faith, immerse yourself in God's word, and remain vigilant in prayer. Let us remember that spiritual battles are not fought with physical weapons, but with spiritual ones. As we put on the belt of truth, let us embrace honesty and integrity in all that we do. With the breastplate of righteousness, we guard our hearts against corruption and stand upright in our actions and thoughts. Our feet, fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, enable us to move forward in God's mission with confidence and serenity. The shield of faith will extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, protecting us from doubt and fear. The helmet of salvation safeguards our minds, reminding us of our identity in Christ and the hope we have in Him. And finally, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, empowers us to proclaim truth and defeat lies. In this ongoing spiritual journey, prayer is our lifeline. Be persistent in prayer, seek God's guidance continually, and stay connected to Him in every moment. As we stand together, clothed in God's armor, we are strengthened to face any battle. Thank you for joining me today. Let us go forward, vigilant and prepared, knowing that we are never alone in this fight. God's presence is our constant source of strength and victory. Heavenly Father, we come before you in gratitude for the wisdom and understanding you have imparted to us today through your word. Thank you for equipping us with spiritual discernment to recognize the signs of spiritual warfare that surround us. As we journey through life, we acknowledge our need for your protection and guidance. Lord, we ask you to clothe us with your full armor, as described in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, so that we may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Strengthen our faith, O God, and fortify us with your truth, righteousness, readiness in the gospel of peace, faith as a shield, salvation as our helmet, and your word as our sword. Guard our hearts and minds from the attacks of the evil one, and grant us discernment to see through every deception and temptation. May your Holy Spirit empower us to overcome every obstacle and to walk victoriously in your light. In the powerful name of Jesus, we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Fill us afresh with your peace that surpasses all understanding, and let your presence be our constant refuge and strength. We commit ourselves into your loving hands, trusting that you are our ever-present help in times of trouble. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for your unwavering faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for joining us today on this journey of understanding spiritual warfare. If you found this video helpful, please share it with someone who might need this message. Your support helps us reach more people with the Word of God, and together, we can strengthen our community of believers. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspirational and motivational content. By hitting that notification bell, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if it encouraged you, and let us know in the comments how we can pray for you or any topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, stay blessed, keep trusting in God's unfailing love, and walk confidently in His path. Remember, no matter the challenges you face, God is with you, guiding you, and protecting you. Embrace His presence and let His peace fill your heart. As we close, I want to leave you with this thought, every day is a fresh start. Embrace it with faith and joy. God's mercies are new every morning, and He has a plan for you that is filled with hope and purpose. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the revelations and blessings shared in this video. We ask for your continued guidance and protection as we face spiritual battles. Empower us to stand firm in our faith and to trust in your unfailing love. Surround us with your peace and fill our hearts with your joy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you once again for being part of this journey. Take care, and God bless you abundantly. May you find strength and courage in the Lord, and may His blessings overflow in your life.